big species in Europe. The main objectives of the European Civic Academy are to map civil society needs in terms of research priorities, to enable civic actors to gain knowledge about existing research, methodology and approaches to inspire the renewal to their social and political action. Last but not least, enable to enable civic actors sorry, to increase awareness among academic researchers about civil society needs and priorities and identify collaborative opportunities for future research. We are particularly happy to gather brilliant minds from both the academic and the CSO world. We are especially thankful to the Scuola Normale Superiore to host in the to host us in the beautiful Renaissance building. I hope that you will not to be too distracted by the surroundings around that we will be able to work in a productive manner over these two days. Today and tomorrow, we will collectively reflect on how democratic civil society can drive systemic change how we can capture the winds of change. Being here in Italy has a particular meaning nowadays. Indeed, we all remember very well the outcome of the election from a few weeks ago, which saw the far right says power in a country which felt in their flesh the darkness of fascism. However, regardless of the political landscape and the large-scale crises that have repeatedly affected Europe and the world in recent decades, we stand together, together the academic community and the CSOs, to face these challenges. How can we blow the wind of change in progressive direction? <coughs> to rephrase what my co-president I uh, said last year, it is clear that we are not the only actors to decide the fate of this challenge. It is not up only to us whether the expectations for change will be disappointed or not. Much will depend on what happens in the sphere of political institutions from the local to the global. But we can do our part and we must do it. If I have quoted the declaration of reference because I want publicly to thank her and congratulate her, although it's not yet the uh, period, the moment for thanks, but I can't really to it, my dear Rafaela. She has put with all the members of uh, the team of our, from the European Civic Forum, because uh, Rafaela had an energy, consider, considerable energy, that the organization of this event. And now, the end. E ora passo la parola a Donatella della Porta, c'è chi ospita in questi due giorni, giorni per loro una discussione fruttuosa, fruttuosa e cominciamo.